now in this video we will see how um, flow same flow that I'm gonna create right now would be invoked from a process builder and which will follow the same operation which will actually check if the set uh, account status is lost then delete the account okay so let's go ahead and create the flow first in order to create the flow click on new flow button to create a new flow this time I have to create an auto launched flow last time to delete the record within flow I created this type flow but this time I have to create auto launch flow you know this auto launch flow will actually a kind of a flow which will not wait for anything it is something it's like a it's, it's something which will be which supposed to be invoked either from a process or rest api or apex code so I have to go ahead and create an auto launch flow because my requirement is same I want to delete the account if the status is lost but this time I'm gonna call a flow from process builder right so let's create a flow with auto launch flow mm -hmm. free form okay so here I have to select the delete record option okay give a name delete account specify the conditions um, select the object and here you have to specify one thing which record you're trying to delete so the process is this whenever your process builder invoke this flow okay process builder will check the condition like if status is equal to uh, lost or not so process builder will check the conditions all the evolution criteria like when exactly the process builder will fire and all will be given in the process builder level what will be there in the low level in the flow we'll actually have to define which record that has to be deleted what do you mean by which record see i might have like many accounts but that particular record account record which you are uh, updating the status as loss that record only should be deleted so how can you specify the id of that record over here we will see okay so you have to specify here id okay account id equals to here you have to create a new resource so just create a new resource um, it's a variable given him acc id okay that's the name of the variable and data type is text see one small conceptual thing that you have to learn here from the process builder i'm calling the flow in the process builder i'm checking the conditions and in the process builder itself i have the id of that account the account that I'm going to delete that ID of that account I have in the process builder so I have to pass that process build uh, the ID of that account from the process builder to this particular ACC ID you get it so this is why you have to check this box called available for input because in the process builder you would be giving the input of this ACC ID ACC ID is just a variable it's just a blank variable as of now in the flow label but in the process builder we will go and see how can you uh, you know pass the account id in this acc id variable so make sure this is available for input because this acc id variable supposed to take one input from the process builder okay done so the id is equal to acc id i'm just providing this that's it nothing else i'm doing here because uh, everything would be done from the process builder okay so drag and drop this save it uh, you know the name should be let's say delete from process builder okay just click on save make sure it is active and now i'll go back to my process builder if you remember i already have created one process builder for account and as you know we are not supposed to create like multiple process builders right for one particular object so I have already uh, created one process builder for the account object which is inactive I'm gonna go and update the same thing right we already discussed this right that we should not create multiple process builders for the same object so let me just edit this um, so last time the requirement was if the stage of the account is owned do something is lost do something so I'm gonna go and add my action right over here in the status is lost right you cannot add it right so you have to click on clone create a new one new version I think this process builder is already there with you or if it is not there then you have to create a new process builder select account as the object 
and in the criteria just select this if account status equals to close uh, sorry lost and then here i'm assuming that this process builder is already there with you okay so uh, if not then you have to create a new one okay then click this add actions this time the action will be what flows correct so click on flows and name see because i my my process uh, my flow is already activated no the moment i click on this it is giving me all the auto launched flows name that's the one i already have so click on say so here i have to give i have to assign the variable i have created a variable called acc id where i have to pass the id right how can you pass click on this add row and select the variable see acc id it's automatically coming here right this variable i actually created in the flow now i have to pass on the id how can you pass field reference and here you have to get the account id right select this account id choose this done it's very simple steps actually what i have done i just created one flow where i specified nothing it just specified the delete record and id is equal to acc id acc id is just a blank id and that acc id i'm passing the data in the process builder so in the process builder i'm just adding one action action is flow calling the flow passing the id how field reference account id you got this right field reference and account id because i am writing the process builder on the account object so account id will have the id of that account so click on save make sure it is active confirm and also make sure my previous flow is deactivated okay, okay. and just make sure that previous workflow uh, previous flow that i had created no delete account with flow this is the new one right delete from process builder delete account from flow was my last um, this thing so make sure this is deactivated or else you know both this will fire at time it is active so i'll just click on deactive mm. this is not activated now i have made my process builder activated now i'll go and test it out how can i test it i will go to the account let's say testing with process builder that's an account i've already created okay i will edit this i will edit and change this to lost this is already lost okay and clicking on save so this record also has been deleted why because i see this this request resource does not exist what does it mean it means this record if i refresh see has been deleted very simple so now uh, in the last video and this video we have learned how flow can be used maybe a auto launched flow or a triggered flow right how the flow can be used to delete a record see process builder can do everything not a deletions right there's no specific action to delete a record in the process builder that's why we can use flow uh, the auto launched flow to create uh, to delete some record with the help of process builder right so we are not writing any code and all for deleting it's a very easy to two, two seconds of configuration that we can do through flow and process builder combinations cool that's it for this video